This is Module 6, Lesson 4. In this lesson, we'll be modeling the decomposition of one whole into hundreds. We know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we could represent a centimeter as a fraction of a meter. In other words, one one hundredth of a meter is a centimeter. We can also, as we did with hundredths, with tenths, we can also write hundredths as a decimal form. So one one hundredth would be zero first to show there's no whole numbers, all decimal point. There's no tenths but there's one hundredth. So one hundredth in decimal form is the same as one hundredth in fraction form. So if we had three hundredths of a meter, we would write that as three hundredths of a meter in decimal form. Let's say we want to do some addition. Let's start with two tenths of a meter and we want to add it to five hundredths of a meter. We know that the first thing we have to look at before we do any kind of addition is to look at the units. Here we have tens, here we have hundredths. So we can't just add them together the way they are. We can't add 2 plus 5 and get 7 something because the units are not the same. But we know that since every tenth of a meter is equal to 10 centimeters, therefore 2 tenths of a meter would be 20 centimeters. And as we just saw in the last example, we can represent a centimeter as a fractional part of a meter. So two tenths of a meter would be equal to 20 hundredths of a meter. Since a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter, 20 centimeters would then be 20 hundredths of a meter. And now we have like units. We have hundredths. So 20 centimeters plus 5 centimeters would be 25 centimeters. Now we can write this fractional form as a decimal and the way we do that is no whole numbers, two tenths, and five hundredths. So here's our two tenths from here and five hundredths because we know twenty hundredths and two tenths are the same. So we can say this is two tenths and five hundredths or we can say it's twenty five hundredths. Just like in whole numbers two tens is twenty. In our fractional form two tenths is the same as twenty hundredths. We could break this down into a number bond to show the two parts. First the hundredths, we have two, hun uh, two tenths, I'm sorry, two tenths, and we have five hundredths. So the two here represents tenths, and the five represents hundredths. Let's use what we've just learned to do some problems in our problem set. So first we're starting with a drawing of one meter. And we see that right now it's divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts. So this area that's shaded would be one tenth of a meter. So A says, what is the length of the shaded part of the meter stick in centimeters. So one tenth of a meter in centimeters would be 10 centimeters. Since 
a tenth of a meter is 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. Pause the video and try B. What fraction of a meter is one centimeter? So one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. Now for C, that tenth has now been divided into ten pieces. So each of these little pieces represents a centimeter. So this one tenth has been divided into tenths. So now they represent hundredths. Each, each little part represents one one hundredth. So in fraction form, the length of the shaded part of the meter stick would be ten hundredths. You try D. So in decimal form, the length of the shaded portion would be the decimal equivalent of this, so it's no whole number. The decimal point, to show that we're talking about decimals, and it's one-tenth, or we could say ten-hundredths. These two notations are equivalent. Since the zero means nothing there, ten-hundredths and one-tenth are equivalent. Try E. So the fraction of a meter that's 10 centimeters, this is 10 centimeters, and we saw from the drawing above it, this is equal to 1 tenth. Okay, try number two on your own. So 2a, 1 tenth is 10 hundredths. So written in fraction form, one-tenth equals ten-hundredths, and two-tenths equals twenty-hundredths. For number three, it says use the model to add the shaded parts as shown. Write a number bond with the total written in decimal form and the parts written as fractions. The first one has been done for you. So we have a drawing here. It's initially divided into tenths, and then this tenth is divided into hundredths, further divided into hundredths. And we see what shaded is the one-tenth at the start, and then the three-hundredths. So we're adding one-tenth of a meter plus three-hundredths of a meter, and so there's one-tenth and three-hundredths. So one-tenth and three-hundredths is 13 and we would write that in decimal form as zero decimal point one three meters. And the final part we were asked to do is show this as a number bond. So 13 hundredths as a decimal is equivalent to one tenth representing this part of the number and three hundredths representing that part. Okay, we're gonna use this same format for B and C. So try B on your own first. Okay, so what we have here is we see two tenths that are shaded. And then we have one, two, three, four hundredths that are shaded. So to add these two together, we know two tenths is the same as twenty hundredths. So 20 hundredths plus 4 hundredths would be 24 hundredths. And we'd write that in decimal form as 24 hundredths. And then as the number bond, this would be 2 tenths and 4 hundredths. Okay, try C. For C, we start out with three tenths shaded, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. When we add them together, we have to convert the tenths into hundredths. So we know we have 30 
hundredths plus eight hundredths would be thirty-eight hundredths in fraction form, or thirty-eight hundredths in decimal form. Then we're going to take the decimal form and break the number bond into three tenths and eight hundredths. Moving on to number four. This tells us on each meter sh stick to shade the amount shown and then write the equivalent decimal. So try A. So for A we have eight tenths. So we're going to shade in eight tenths. And we'd write eight tenths as a decimal this way. Try B. So for B, we need to divide this first tenth into hundredths. We're going to shade eight of them, I'm sorry, seven of them, and leave three of them unshaded. And we would write that in decimal form. Okay, try C. Okay, for C we have 110, and then we have 9, nine hundredths, so in decimal form it would be 19 hundredths. For number five, we're going to draw the number bond, pulling out the tenths and the hundredths as we did back in problem three, and then write the total as the equivalent fraction. So try A. So for A, we have one tenth and nine hundredths, and our decimal would be 19 hundredths. Try B. For B we have two tenths and eight hundredths. So for our decimal we have 28 hundredths of a meter. Try C. For C we have seven tenths and seven hundredths. And as a decimal, we have 77 hundredths of a meter. And finally, try D. For D, we have 9 tenths, and we have 4 hundredths. Adding them together, we have 94 hundredths of a meter. And that's the end of lesson 4.